Hi there, Jenny and Ethan. Welcome back. Are you ready to see Chat GPT in action? Yes, Randy. I can't wait to learn how to use it. Yeah, let's get started. All right. Let's start by discussing how you can use Chat GPT at home. First, you need to create an account if you are using Chat GPT for the first time. Please note the important age information. Chat GPT is not for kids under 13. If you are 13 to 18 years old, you need to get permission from a parent or guardian before you use Chat GPT. It's important to ask a grown up for help. Before you create an account, you'll need to share some personal information. It's very important to ask a parent or guardian to help you with this step. They can help to keep your information safe. For AI safety guidelines, check out the video link in the description below before you proceed further. Please remember, a parent or guardian should take care of all the following steps for creating an account for you. The first step is to go to the Chat GPT website. Then click on Sign Up option. Second step is to choose your email account. You can select a Gmail, Apple, or Microsoft account. Third step is to accept the rules. You need to agree to some rules and privacy policies from OpenAI. Read these with a parent or guardian, then click Continue to go ahead. Next, it will ask about name and birth date and agree to privacy policies. And that's it, you're now ready to start chatting with Chad GPT. You can ask questions, get help with homework, play games, and much more. But always remember to use Chad GPT only under the supervision of a parent or guardian. We will be using the free version of Chad GPT 4.0 Omni. All right, now let's learn how to ask Chad GPT questions. It's really simple. You just type your question and Chad GPT will respond. Can you show us? Sure. Let's ask Chad GPT a question about space. Like, what is a black hole? Here is the Chad GPT response. A black hole is a region in space where the gravitational pull is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape from it. As you can see, Chad GPT has given us detailed information about black hole. That's so cool. It's like having a mini encyclopedia. Exactly. You can ask Chad GPT anything you're curious about, from science to history and more. Now let's understand the various options available at the end of the response generated by Chad GPT. First is read aloud. If you prefer to listen to the answer instead of reading it, you can use read aloud option to have the text read out loud to you. The second option is copy. If you like the answer and want to keep it for later, you can use the copy option to copy the text and save it somewhere like in a document or notes. Third option is regenerate. If the answer wasn't quite what you needed or you want to see it phrased differently, you can choose the regenerate option to get a new version of the response. Fourth option is thumbs down. If the answer didn't help or wasn't accurate, you can give a thumbs down to provide feedback. This lets Chad GPT know the response wasn't satisfactory, so it can improve. Before we continue further, let's talk about some important terms you need to know to use Chad GPT effectively. First up is prompt. What is a prompt? A prompt is anything you type into Chad GPT to start a conversation or get an answer. It can be a question, a statement, or even a command. For example, when we typed, what is a black hole? That was a prompt. So a prompt is like a question we ask Chad GPT? Exactly. It's the input you give to Chad GPT to get a response. The better your prompt, the better the response you'll get. 
What other terms do we need to know? Good question. Here are a few important ones. First is response. The answer or information that Chad GPT provides based on your prompt. Second is training data. The large collection of text that Chad GPT learns from. This includes books, websites, and articles. Third is model. The AI system that processes the prompts and generates responses. Chat GPT is a type of model. Fourth is algorithm. The set of rules that the AI follows to understand and generate text. What's an algorithm? An algorithm is like a recipe that tells the computer exactly how to do something. In Chad GPT's case, it's the set of instructions it follows to read your prompt and come up with a response. And what does training data mean? Training data is all the information that Chad GPT has read and learned from. It's like the AI's textbooks and homework combined. The more training data it has, the smarter it gets. Now, coming back to Chad GPT, let's see how Chad GPT can help with homework. Jenny, do you have a math problem you need help with? Yes. I have trouble with fractions. How about what is three quarters plus one half? Let's ask Chad GPT this question. What is three quarters plus one half? Here is Chad GPT response. To add three quarters and one half, first convert one half to a fraction with a denominator of four, which is two quarters. Then add three quarters and two quarters to get five quarters or one and one quarter. That makes it so much easier to understand. Chad GPT can help with all subjects, including math, science, and English. It's like having a personal tutor available anytime. Now, let's have some fun and play a game with Chad GPT. Ethan, do you like riddles? I love riddles. Great. Let's ask Chad GPT to give us a riddle. Here is the riddle. I have keys but no locks. I have space but no room. You can enter, but you can't go outside. What am I? Can anyone guess? Hmm, I know. A really bad magician's hat. Let's see what Chad GPT has to say. It's a keyboard. That was fun. Absolutely. Chad GPT has many riddles, trivia questions, and games to keep you entertained and learning. Chad GPT can also be used for creative writing learning new languages, and discovering fascinating facts. Let's explore each of these uses. Chat GPT can help you come up with story ideas and prompts. For example, let's ask Chat GPT for a story prompt about a magical adventure. As you can see, it has generated a wonderful story idea for you to build upon. Chad GPT can assist you in learning new languages. Let's ask Chad GPT to teach us basic Spanish phrases. Here is the response. Hola means hello. Gracias means thank you. Adios means goodbye. This way, you can learn many different languages. Chad GPT can provide interesting facts about various topics. For instance, let's ask Chad GPT to tell us a cool fact about animals. Here is the response. Did you know that octopuses have three hearts? Two pump blood to the gills, and one pumps it to the rest of the body. That's incredible. I had no idea. Well, that's all for today's practical session with Chad GPT. I hope you had fun and learned a lot. Thanks, Randy. I can't wait to use ChatGPT for my homework and stories. Yeah, and I want to try more riddles and learn new languages. Fantastic. Thanks for watching, everyone.
Remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss our next exciting episode. To learn more about artificial intelligence go to www.aieducationforkids.com. If you would like to read books and do some activity then we have some wonderful collection of books on artificial intelligence like Introduction to AI, Brainy Bots, Fantastic Future, Building AI. These books will help you grow and explore the new world of artificial intelligence. You can find all the links and details in the video description below. See you soon.